All right, guys. I was out uh, gathering, and I accidentally got too close to uh, the hunter camp here. It's pretty early in the day, so why don't we go ahead and raid them? Because they're they're gonna assume I attack them no matter what. And I actually have a couple of picks already made up back at the base that we'll have to go get after we secure the place. So there's a guy up there. I don't know if there's anybody else outside. And there's the claymore right there. Holy crap, that's close. There. Okay, yeah, come on out, dude. Is he like just oh. All right, we got him. I wonder if that's him opening and closing the door, that clunkety clunk noise. All right, we killed another dude out here. Let's find his backpack. And then we're going to go back to the base really quick, grab uh, our extra picks, and then break into here. All right, where did I kill that guy at? Oh, it's so hard to find those backpacks. I know it's got the little white icon, but that doesn't show up very well, especially when you have a bunch of white rocks and stuff around, too. Okay, well, maybe it despawned. I don't think so. I think it sticks around for a little while, but I don't know where the hell it's at. Okay, let's run back to the base, get our picks, and we'll come back and break in here. All right, guys, we are about ready to break in here. I remember to... To not break my picks this time so we can put them in the mass uh, thingamadoodle. And here we go. Alright, nobody down here. Looks like I can still get to the bag, which is good. And we're in. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the loot. It's been a long time since I've attacked these guys, so there should be some good stuff in here, including a grenade. Um, yeah. Okay. Lots of casings. Not too bad. I guess the grenade's the best best thing we hold out of there. Could have been better, though, but it is what it is. Uh, alright. Let's grab all of this stuff out of here. And let's grab this and that. And turn you on. Do you have... They've got a lot of power and mass in here. Do they not have a workbench? Really? They don't have a workbench. Oh no, that sucks. The other hunters do. The ones near the pond have a workbench. Well, that means we can't make anything here, so... I guess we extinguish their fire, um, make sure all their power is turned on to run it down, and that's about all we can do. Kind of sucks. This is running to run their fuel out. I already checked in there. Yeah, that was... Sort of kind of lame, but whatever, I guess. Um, there's a... Yeah, I'm not... There's a... The Claymore's right over in that area. I'm not going to mess with it. I might even leave it there, because if I leave it there, I wonder if it'll stay there, and then we know where it is next time we come. Okay, well, that was, um... It was okay. Could have been better, you know, be honest with you, but it was okay. We have a crate over here, and a bear. see if we can get to it. Ah, oh, come on, man. Go the other way. Alright, let's just, uh, let's just get back to the base, drop off this grenade, and then I'm gonna go out and spend the rest of the day looking for a few more crates. Uh, I have... 
a decent amount of nails and wood, but I'd like to get a little bit more before we do our next, uh, or resume our building. There's a couple things actually at the base I do want to show you, including something very unfortunate. Um, frustrating as hell, that kind of thing, but it happened. So basically what happened was, and I've, I've already done this once, but it's something that you do so seldom that you just don't think about it, or at least I don't. I moved the BCU over so we had more centralized coverage up above. And guess what I forgot to do after I moved that over? Yeah, I lost all my all my meat in here, man. Oh, it's so frustrating. Uh, so we have a bunch of, you know, a bunch of uh, rotten meat now, most of which will probably feed into here. Uh, I don't care about that thing. So let's throw all of this stuff into there. And uh, yeah, so that builds us up a little mass. So that was very unfortunate. Uh, what else did I do? I moved the lighted um, uh, crop plot thingamadoodle over here and just put all the rest of the seeds that I have into it. Put the Jenny right there. And then uh, this is the solution I came up with the stairs. I might try something different later, but it works for now. I have to crouch to get through there. And then as you can see, I've got the other crop plot with all of the rest of the seeds that I currently have up here. Now we're gonna, con we're gonna continue building out um, another row here um, of this balcony. And then uh, solar panels and wind power is the next thing on my list. Yeah, see, <laughs> so I have, to, I have to crouch to get down through here. And then once I've crouched, um, I don't know. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. I mean, if I didn't have the cave ceiling obstructing things, you know, I'd probably just put a half foundation of stair, a half foundation of stair, half foundation of stair, and just, you know, go up that way. But unfortunately, it's not that easy to do because of the cave ceiling, you know, in the way. So this, I don't know, this might be the, the best way to do it. It might not, but it does work, even, even though it's a little clunky, and so we're going to run with it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut the camera here and uh, just spend the rest of this in-game day uh, looking for a few more crates, gathering a few more resources. I'm going to try and be back here uh, by nightfall because those dudes, uh, or by midnight anyways, because those dudes are probably going to attack us. Um, let's also make, uh, oh yeah, we got to put some stuff away. Uh, so we do, we do have a grenade now, and we'll probably save that for our next break in because it will save us some time uh let's see you go in here and yeah I, i'm just gonna put all the stuff away and go out and then if we do get attacked tonight i'll start the camera at that point if we don't um i'm just gonna wait to bring you guys back until i have built up my resources again so we can continue our build project so you can see we have 63 nails there and um we have a total of 49 planks and 145 wood and yeah so we'll go from there all right guys we'll talk to you a bit bye all right guys it is the next morning and we're gonna go after the pond hunters these bastards have attacked us many times and it's been a while since we've attacked them so they should have some pretty good stuff so let's go show them what for Try to see if there's anybody up above. There's a guy walking down there. Okay, he sees us. Um, let's actually use our magnum a little bit. Okay, we got two of them. Um, where's the other one at? It's right there. All right, so that's three. I'm assuming that's all that there is. Let's get their stuff. Uh, I brought that grenade with me from the last hunter base that we took over. Oh, nice, look at all those uh, shotgun shells. It's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> so let's uh, get that. Okay, everybody's reloaded. All right, we need to watch out for their claymore. Um, 
don't see it going directly through this way. Let's extinguish that. <clears throat> Oh, it's still in the same place it was before. Hmm. I destroyed that one, I thought. Do they always put them in the same place? I wouldn't think so. All right. Let's try this grenade out. Um. <clears throat> I don't know if we got it real close to the door. Let's see. Yeah, we took it down to about 300, so that'll help a little bit. Okay, there is a bear over there. We have to watch out for him. All right, you guys know the drill. I'll bring you back when the door is about ready to break. All right, here we go. The thing I like, really like about this double barrel shotgun is you can rapid fire it, like, really quick. So, okay. <clears throat> Um, let's check the loot crate first. Okay. We got two grenades from these guys. Fantastic. Lots of nine mil shells. Yeah, good loot. Okay. Let's reload this. Yeah, these guys are a lot better to raid than the, than the other dudes are. Okay. What's in here? Oh, wow. We could actually... We could actually use their resources to craft some of this, except for I would have to, you know, go grab that stuff. All right, let's turn that on, run out their fuel. Turn that on, run out their power. Um, grab this and that. They've got the distillery. Uh, let's get all this stuff out of here. Anything I can do with their heater? Doesn't look like it. And these guys also have a craft pitch too, with some glass and some gunpowder. Um, yeah, they don't really have enough. Well, yeah, they they do have a little bit of power. Well, I guess we could come back here and do some ingots. Or what about? Uh, what if we wanted to, like, say, upgrade our lever-action rifle? All right, so they've got enough power and mass to do a firepower upgrade. We would just need to go get some ingots and ropes and stuff. You know what? Maybe we'll do that. Why not? Let's use their power. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn this off. We'll let that continue to run um, to bring up their power. And, yeah, let's go, let's go run in get that stuff and come back and do a shot or do an upgrade for our rifle maybe even the shotgun too we'll see all right guys we are back at the hunter base let's go upstairs and we're going to place our lever action in there and upgrade this I brought stuff to upgrade the shotgun too, but <clears throat> um, I don't think, yeah, we're not going to have enough power and mass to do it, so maybe we'll we'll do the shotgun next time. All right, it's upgraded. Um, So it's 20% more firepower. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Black camo and gold trim. Uh, power for repair on the map. Use and also use incendiary rounds. How do you do that? It's like you have to put something in there, I guess. Okay, so the next upgrade is going to require pearls and 12 of them at that and six rope. Wow. Yeah, that gets quite a bit more expensive, doesn't it? But hey, 20% increase in power is actually not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so we don't have enough power or. Um, mass to do this. What we might be able to do is this still running? 
Oh, thought I turned that on. <clears throat> um, I mean, we might be able to regenerate the power, but let's do this. Let's turn this on. I'm going to overdrive it too, just to get up to 70 mass. So that's what we need, right? Um, yeah, we need 70 mass. Interesting that they have have that already. That would suggest they're going caving, though. I don't know if they they themselves actually do. All right. Um. So yeah, we'll get this 70 mass, then we'll shut this off, and we'll see if the Jenny can get the power back before the end of the day. Whether it can or not, I don't know. We'll see. All right. So we got the 70 mass, and then we needed 650 on the power. I think right. Yeah, 650. Okay. So what we can do is come back, you know, at the end of the day and just see if this manages to get the power back up to 650. Um, where is their power storage? Do they, wait, do they not have power storage in this place? Oh, it's over here. That's kind of a weird place to put it, but okay. can't really see it from there can I see it from here yeah I can see it from here okay so yeah um well I guess I can see it from here too no you can't see it from here interesting uh, two times power for three times fuel Nah, I'm we probably don't have enough fuel even as it is but I mean we're not we're not out anything at all if it doesn't work Somebody's shooting at something. I'm not getting the my base is under attack. Those guys are probably going to be attacking our base anytime soon, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it because we've got our barricades up, and they seem to do a pretty damn good job stopping those guys. But hey, we got an, up, we got an upgraded uh, lever-action rifle. 20% uh, increase in damage. That's significant. I wish I knew what the damage was to the, even the base damage. It doesn't tell you that. Um, you know, there's no, there's nothing that tells you what the damage is that I can tell. So, uh, unless it's like in here or something, I don't know. Lever action rifle. It tells me what I've killed with it, but it doesn't tell me what kind, how much damage it does. So, okay. <laughs> well, what I might do, you guys, is maybe cut some wood, get all the resources out of the pond, and um, I'll bring you guys back at the end of the day, and we'll see if they have enough power for us to do our shotgun upgrade. All right, guys, um, we have actually built up a thousand power. Here, that's more than I thought we were going to, uh, going to, going to. Um, so yeah, we have everything to upgrade our shotgun. Let's do it. I'm assuming we're going to get 20% increase in power on this too. So man, we really <coughs> made out good today. Not only did we, you know, raid the bandits and steal all their lootskis, but we managed to upgrade both of our weapons on their power and mass. Can't complain about that, baby. Cannot complain about that. All right. Yep, 20% upgrade. I mean, this shotgun's already a beast as it is. Now it's like, oh my god, this is great. I love it. I can easily kill, like, a bear with that shotgun. Um, at least a level 1 bear. You know, just with a bam, bam, because it, it shoots so fast. And um, now it's 20% stronger than it was before. Uh, I did get the message that we were being attacked while I was out and about. but And by the way, I ended up going hunting instead of... Um, yeah, see what, let, watch this level one bear. We're going to just wreck him. I mean, I could, I could have done this even before the, you know, before the up upgrade. In fact, I don't know. We should try a single shot on level ones now that this has been upgraded and see how it does. But you see how quickly I was able to rapid fire that? It's just amazing. Um, anyways, what I was saying was 
I was going to cut some wood, but then I decided to go do some hunting. So we got five livers, uh, two rabbit, uh, or I'm sorry, two steaks and some rabbit because I need to replenish my food supply after being a numbskull and moving my BCU and forgetting to turn the refrigerator back on. So yeah, that kind of sucked. All right, let's get this light out and head back to the base. We're going to take a look at the uh, north side barricade because I'm pretty sure it was those guys that attacked us. That's a deer. And just see if there's any significant damage on it. Uh, let's look at this too. I don't think... Yeah, this doesn't really take much damage because the dudes that come that way, who are the ones we just raided, by the way, they just kind of wander back and forth and get stuck there. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that definitely took some damage, so we're going to have to repair that. That one took a little bit of damage too. They don't usually attack on this side, so this is looking good. Okay, this has been a good day, you guys. A really good day. One of the best ones I think we've had so far since I started this series. So yeah, very, very good. All right, let's um, split you in half. I'm gonna have to put more wood, but I wanna keep these guys going. And we're gonna put all of this in here. We'll butcher the rabbit. Well, let's actually eat the rabbit, so we'll cook him up. We got some water we have to do. And we got nine fat in total, which is great. So we'll put half in there and half in there. Put these ore back in here. I was going to maybe... Uh, wait, what is that? Yeah, that's sink. I was going to bring some copper over and smelt it, but then when I realized we had the chance to do a second upgrade, I didn't want to use any more of their power, so... All right, so put that in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. Look at that. We have a full stack of fibers. You know what we're going to do with these? Because we don't need to make any more cordage. we got a ton of cordage. We're going to turn all of those into these. So we'll be able to make 10 Presto Logs. Hot darn. All right, that stuff goes in there. A little bit of gunpowder. We got a decent amount of bullet casings uh, from raiding those guys. And we have 82 nails. That's not too bad, not too bad. I think I'd like to have a few more, though, before we start our next building session. All right, let's eat this. Pull the water out and take a drink. Uh, we're still going to need some more protein and some more carbs. So let's just eat five blueberries. And we'll eat this pork chop. And that should get us pretty darn close to the top. If not, we'll top... Uh, oh, no, I guess it didn't get us as close as I thought we were going to. All right, we'll eat a steak too. Uh, I'll cook up these other steaks. I, I keep one stack of liver. Actually, no, I've only been keeping like two livers in here and then just eating the rest. And I have an antidote here. Two already made up. So, yeah, we're good on that. And let's put the sandstone in here. That's going to be for making glass later on. We're not really ready to mess with that quite yet. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Let's grab some logs and some nails and our hammer. I made a fresh hammer here. We're going to top off the fireplaces for the stoves. And let's go repair that foundation. That one needs uh, some TLC as well. What about this one? Nah, that one is... Yep, those are just barely scratched. I don't think it's worth using up a nail on right now. These are in good shape, too. Yep, all this looks good. Let's go check these foundations. I think they're okay, but I just want to double check. Yep, that one's good. It's a little bit damaged, but nothing major. Um... Let's give that one a tap. Sure. Why not? That one's good. And that one's good. There's an onion. Oh, we need to check our crop lots. Uh, let's just check these foundations really quick. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, this one, that one actually took a hit. That one's in perfect condition. 
That one's a little bit down, but not enough to really worry about it. 579, 600. Yeah, let's top that one more time. Um, every once in a while they can get, you know, like a, an arrow, grenade arrow or whatever, through. But it's nowhere near as bad as it was when they were directly attacking the base. Let's just check these upper ones. And I'm curious, too, were they actually able to get all the way up to here? There's two points of damage on that, but that could have just been a little bit of splash damage from down below. Oh, wow, they actually did hit this. Not significantly, but it got tagged. Okay. Well, um, I don't know. I might end up putting half walls up here then we'll have to see how that goes okay let's give this guy some water and uh we could throw some fertilizer in there too i guess and uh, i don't know are we do we have anything going on in here oh we do we have onions okay so that needs water too uh i already pulled the water off of these guys right yeah so let's grab two waters Thinking about making more canteens, they're not that expensive, and just having like a chest full of canteens, and we fill them all up, and then don't worry about it until we use them all, and then we just, you know, wash, rinse, and repeat. Um, <laughs> pun intended. Uh, I didn't mean to drink that. I meant to put that in there. Damn it, Jim. I mean, it probably didn't hurt that we drank it, but... Okay, that should be good. The other one needs the fertilizer. We got lots of fertilizer. I should be processing some more potassium so I can <clears throat> make more gunpowder. Uh, but let's hop up here and fertilize this one. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm not exactly sure where we are on time in this episode because I've kind of split it up a little bit, but um, I think I'm going to let you go here, even if it's a little shorter than <clears throat> our normal <coughs> amount of time. And what I'm going to do is go out and hit crates um, because I want to get want to get a nice pile of nails. We still have 41 boards plus 161 wood, so... Uh, we're doing good on wood. We don't need to get any more of that right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go out and do the crate thing. I do have uh, two lock picks here. In fact, I'm probably going to take both of those with me in case we luck out and run into two locked chests. And then I will bring you guys back in the next episode where we will hopefully be able to continue building out our base. And in terms of equipment, what we are gunning for is... I think we're going to do a solar panel next. Um, can we do that now? No, we're, we're short just a little bit of mass. Hmm. All right, we're going to have to run the mass generator. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. Let's split this in half. We lost all that meat, but maybe we can put it to good use. How much will this give us? Ooh, that'll give us 52 mass. All right, is that enough to make our first solar panel? It is. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So we need scrap, adhesive, circuit boards, and rope. Um, I have just enough to make one thing of rope, so we're going to have to go mountain lion hunting again. Uh, we have lots of adhesive. We have lots of scrap. Uh, oh, circuit boards. Okay, so we're going to need pearls and electronics for that. Let's go to craft. Oh, and copper. Okay. Uh, you know what? We should probably start doing some copper here. Okay, so one, two, and three of those. That's what we needed, right? It was three. 
three circuit boards. Oh, <laughs> we lost some of our mass now. Damn it, Jim. Um, how much mass do we have? 107. You know what? Let's just split that in half again. I'm trying not to run this thing because it just sucks the power down like crazy. That gets us to 133. How much did we need again? I think we needed 150, right? Yes. Uh, Alright, what, what would I use this for? The only thing I've really used it for so far is the heat packs, which we're not even going to need to worry about until winter time. Uh, we made one insect repellent. I haven't bothered with the strength boost. The adrenaline bo adrenaline boost might be nice, but it doesn't require rotten meat anyways. So, yeah, <clears throat> let's just let's just burn it all up now. We'll worry about the heat packs when the winter comes. Okay, so that got us up to 150. Let's get our three circuit boards here, and boom, baby. Let's make our first solar panel. And we're, I know we're going to need to make more than one of these, but every little bit's going to help. The goal is to try and be able to run our basic stuff like our, you know, our forge here and our refrigerator and still have enough and still have a little bit of surplus power generating so it's building up and not slowly going down without having to run the generator. Um... So yeah, that's that's kind of what we're hoping to accomplish here. Wow, look at that. We got 50, 50 fuels. That is amazing. Let's turn that on. And we'll put this stuff back in its place for now. Got a nice little supply of uh, biofuel there. All right, cool. Our first solar panel. Okay, let's take it up top here. Um, actually, I'm gonna want to grab. I'm gonna want to make a couple more platforms, uh, ceiling platforms. Uh, do we need two or three? I can't remember. We might need three, but I think I can make another one. Oh, no, we need five yowzers. Okay. All right, so do I have enough? Oh, see the... Those guys are back there, but they're derped. Let's put that there for a minute. So, um... Yeah, okay. And I'd make three more of these. I can. All right, good. That'll finish out the platform up here. We'll get her done, even though I don't have all the nails that I was hoping I'd have in, but that's okay. Oh, we only need two more. Yeah, we only need two more. Even better. <coughs> okay, so the plan up here eventually is to build a greenhouse um, and have, you know, all of our crops and everything up here um, so we can keep it up here in the winter, too. But we also need room, of course, for our solar panels and our, eventually, you know, our um, a windmill when we make that. And the windmill is for when there's storms out. Why aren't you flipping the other way? Oh, I had my num num lock key off. There. Yeah, so the windmill will be for when there's storms out, and then, of course, the solar panels will be when there's not. So the sun goes east and west, so it kind of travels this way-ish. I don't know. I don't know if the angle of these actually matters. I'm not really sure. Um... So I'm thinking if it's going to kind of go east and west. Okay, there's the sun there. I'm 
trying to see rises in the east so when it goes behind the cliff there we're not going to get the best sun so it might be better off to put them facing this way okay so I'm just going to set the first one down here we can always move it you know reposition it later if need be so this guy is generating uh, 0 0.08 power per second based upon 89% light and we could upgrade it to increase power by 25% twice but we don't have any sinew uh, and we don't have any sinew to make rope so we can't do this right now okay well it's a start it's a start our first solar panel isn't it a beautiful thing how many hit points does this thing have? Does it even tell us? Uh, it would if we had the hammer in our hand. Okay, well, that's right. It's not likely that stuff is going to take damage up here. Well, I suppose dudes from over there could lob the, a grenade or an arrow grenade up here. I don't know. We'll just we'll just watch it and see how that goes. Um, I can always put you know some walls up. And eventually we'll have glass covering a lot of that area anyways. Okay, now I think we got a full episode in. So guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And I am going to go out and loot. And I'll bring you back in a future episode where we will do some more constructing. All right, take care. Bye-bye.